Okay, so this new feature in Lightroom replaces presets or gets you to a really fast starting point when editing photos so really really speeding up your editing a lot of people just don't know where to start when they are editing photos so this new feature really gives you a really really good starting point before you work with presets before you're trying to put on your unique styles yeah ultimately get really nice edits to your images that are way more consistent getting consistency a lot faster because editing takes up a long long time um, for those people that don't know where to start when editing um, this is maybe the very best place to start editing okay so let's get into it we have a bunch of images here that we will apply this new feature on and see what it does so okay so where do we find this new feature it is up here and above adaptive color so it automatically does the edits for us to get us to a really good starting point and then we can go from um, where it takes us and if we come back to adobe color this is what most people use and it's a very big difference to auto so as you can see we have slider adjustments here but if we were to do adaptive color now it says we should not use auto and adaptive color this new feature together so let's just not do auto so let's reset come up to adaptive color before with auto all these sliders had changed but with adaptive color it has done it and i think and in my opinion it looks a lot better than auto with the sliders this new adaptive color so now what is really handy with this is we can now apply presets, we can now do our work with the sliders and not with all those sliders already done. We can apply presets to a very good starting point, very good neutral starting point. So let's apply it on a bunch of examples. Let's go this image, adaptive color, pretty good starting point, uh, adaptive color, still a little dark, but pretty good. Let's do this one. No, nope. adaptive color. Pretty good starting point. Now let's try an overexposed image. Let's go adaptive color. So it's always going to pull the image back to a very good exposure. And yeah, a lot better than auto. So to explain a little bit more. So here is the final edited image. This is a guest editor inside the course. But if we copy and paste these settings, copy. So this is like applying a preset and then we paste it. You can see it's overexposed. So now we had all these adjustments that were for the exposure and not the style presets should be for the style and ideally we don't have to worry about exposure it makes it confusing especially for beginners uh, we've got a like correcting exposure so for example this is the final edited image from another guest editor uh, here's the original exposing for those highlights all we have to do is hit adaptive color and now we're in a really good starting point and here's the finished edited image and now we can just concentrate on style rather than all these adjustments that are correction and style which makes things really confusing or when you buy presets they don't work on your images because there is a lot to do with correcting your image so this is a really really handy tool so here's the original shot and here's the final edit so again adaptive color and we're in a really really good starting point to just focus on style because these adjustments here it's both it's both it's both creativity style and just this correct for exposure in our image i know in the past that really threw me off when i was trying to do edits combining the correction of a photo with i want this unique style i want the the curves to do this matted look so super super helpful this is actually one of the better updates i've seen in a long time so sometimes exposure is pretty good in camera um, so if we come over here to the unedited version and adaptive color now it thinks this image is really underexposed so it's going to brighten it as you can see it doesn't affect colors so it doesn't correct for white balance and um, 
tint and stuff like that so that's on you to adjust from there I'll actually dial it back again um, and then we also have a mount here so this is super helpful in just a few clicks we get pretty pretty close to the final edited here and now we could very easily use presets that work very well on a well exposed image really speeding up the editing and making it much easier to get the style you want so say if we wanted this goldish greenish blue style that Mitchell has who's guest editor copy and paste it onto onto an image with adaptive color we don't have to worry about exposure anymore Let's bring it way down it looks like the contrast is pretty high adaptive color also puts in some contrast and yeah, we very, very quickly get to a good starting point, much more beginner friendly. And we could save this as a preset now, and it would work really well on other images that have adaptive color because you're always um, applying it to a well-exposed image. People want really subtle, good editing nowadays to their photos. So I think this really, really helps. People don't want crazy looking edits, so just correct exposure and then you can play with the curves or have really good presets that, and understand and like try to you only have to now focus on your styles and in my opinion curves are by far the most important thing when it comes to style um, so now you can just focus on a lot less edit a lot faster so say you had just a big wedding day or something you could put adaptive color on all your images and then just hit one preset and as long as the preset's pretty good it should work a lot better on every photo and you can get to a really good edit like this much much faster so yeah um let me know your guys thoughts uh and like and and just one and just another example of an image being like quite bright it's on the bright side and it's kind of washed out so adaptive color brings it down, the overall exposure down very nicely. Um, and then obviously we could add these curves in because it's the curves that play a lot with style. And sometimes highlights is very, and whites is very important for your style, but you've already used uh, the highlights and the whites to correct your exposure and you no longer can like bring your highlights down or bring your highlights up it's already being uh, used up to correct for exposure so and that's like highlights down is a very uh, common thing I see people use for their styles um, so it's very annoying to get an underexposed image and you no longer have that ability for your style uh, free training on curves and color make sure you just watch my free stuff and then once you are comfortable or have learned a lot as a beginner as in curves and color and you want to go much more in depth into styles learn these different styles so you can find your own style um, control Lightroom in a way that you can achieve these styles and not go in circles, not understanding how color works, how the tools work, how the curves work, have much more of a systematized strategy to editing and really understanding the why behind these styles rather than, rather than relying on creativity and moving tools randomly and seeing what you like. There is a lot of formulas going on in Lightroom and we use these formulas to create styles. I've been doing this for seven, eight years now, created about a thousand videos on Lightroom and all these different styles. And we, uh, I've paid and brought, brought in these super talented photographers to give you their raw image, their preset, and you can download them and follow along step by step. And yeah, we can really see how these cohesive feeds come to life. And yeah, let me know what you wanna see in the comments and catch you in the next one.